Hello and welcome to Ray Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome evening. Me, I'm doing good, no complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some news for you and our first topic of the video, Babes Otumo urges women to speak out. So Babes Otumo's abuse story that shook South Africa when it first was revealed by Maschaba Ndlovu while she was at Metro FM for an interview, Maschaba Ndlovu actually seemed to have caught Babes Otumo off guard when she asked her about the abuse deal. Now there was a lot of drama that kind of followed that particular interview and a lot of people started pointing fingers from social media of course at Mas Chabandlov. Many were even questioning whether or not Mas Chabandlov knew what she was talking about until a shocking video of Mampinja striking Babes Oduma on Instagram live. Babes Oduma actually posted herself went viral. Now cases were opened, court appearances were made but after a while the couple withdrew the charges against each other and life moved on from there. Now, Babes Otumo has opened up about the incident without, you know, giving too much away or getting too deep into it. She spoke to the papers and she said that she had put the past behind her and will now be focusing on her new life with Mampincha as a married couple and their son. Now, Babes is quoted as saying the following, Never be quiet about it, but also don't be afraid to keep the story clear so we can work on it the correct way. I am happy in my relationship. Now, do keep in mind that all of this Babes or Duma being in the publication comes after the couple's reality show recently premiered on DSTV Showmax. And I will say that taking a closer look at the reception that the show got on social media, it does seem that viewers were a little bit lukewarm about the show. Now, do keep in mind that they might be giving some lukewarm reviews about the show, but they watched it. But moving right along on the show, Utando Lotumo, Mampinja apologizes to Babes Otumo's family for abusing her and Babes Otumo's parents do reprimand him for that. Now Mampinja does call what happened a mistake and reveal that they always have misunderstandings as a family and that the abuse is the biggest cause of that. Now before you go commenting and saying that that apology is not good enough, his in-laws, Mampinja's in-laws have accepted his apology and thanked him for manning up. Now Mampinja himself also does encourage men and women to engage in abuse related topics with their partners. But yeah, do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about Babes Oduma urging women to speak out about abuse. Now before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, so Mizi finds an intruder in his home. Television and radio personality, so Mizi Mklonga took to social media to reveal that he found an intruder in his home. Now, so Mizi posted the following video and started singing, Oh my God, there is a rat. There is a rat in my house and I've locked the door to the garage and I'm afraid of rats. There's a rat! Oh my gosh, there's a rat! There's a rat, there's a rat, there's a rat in my house, there's a rat, there's a rat. And I've locked the door to the garage and again, Sabi good one. There's a rat. Ah! <laughs> what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Yay! Gundwane, Hama Satan. Oh, Jehovah. Gizo went and Tani Magunjin. Oh, Kosia. Oh, 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 Look, man, I've lived in the hood and I've seen rats before and that is no rat. That's a little mouse. That's a cute little mouse and I don't understand why Somizi is afraid of a little mouse. But I suppose if he is, you know, the scary cat in the relationship, where's the husband? I'd assume that the husband, Omuhale, is more the butch one in the relationship. Take care of that little mouse for him. Or maybe it's a little too soon to be talking about Muhale. Uh. Yay! Satan! How did you get... To my house, go out! Uncle Sam! Uncle Sam! You get a pass the fridge! It's under the fridge! Oh! 
Yo, 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 yo. Tiki, tiki, yo. Tiki, tiki, yo. Tiki, tiki, yo. What am I gonna do now? Yo, yo, yo. I'm saying, Jane, yes, sir. Yo, yo, yo. Personally, I will say, as a man who's not really scared of rats or mice, that's, that's a little mouse right there. That little mouse looks like it eats cheddar cheese. The rat, a rat will probably eat your leg. But nonetheless, a little bit of a light story there in the center of this particular video. And also, please do sound off in the comment section down below and let me know if you are scared of rats or mice so the butch ones can laugh at you. You know what would be a real tragedy is if both Somizi and Muhale are scared of rats. But I'm willing to bet that Vusinova, he's not scared of rats. Yep, because me, I eat rats for breakfast. You know what? That actually sounded a lot cooler in my mind. Our next topic, Kelly Kumalo takes aim at government oldies. Reality television star as well as singer Kelly Kumalo has called on South Africans to take their power back and vote out the oldies in government if they want to see change. Now, I'm not too sure about this, but I do believe that Kelly Kumalo has performed at EFF rallies, so I'm assuming that she's an EFF member, so this kind of makes sense from her. I'm not really surprised by this. But nonetheless, uh, Kelly Kumalo said that the government and President Sir Ramaphosa, whom she called Cupcake in that video, <laughs> that cracks me up, are entitled and have proven several times they disregard for public service. Now, she said that if citizens don't use their votes to remove those in power, corruption will continue continue to thrive in South Africa. So according to Kelly Kumalo, the time is now. Fight, use your vote responsibly. I don't know what you're going to vote for. But yeah, Kelly Kumalo posted a video on her social media. She captioned it. If there was ever a time to fight, this is the time. We have been taken for granted for far too long. We have lost everything. Friends and family members lost to this pandemic. Jobs and businesses lost. And yet we are still the ones to continue paying the price. What more do we need for us to see that it is not about us it never was and never will be unless we fight to get our country and our freedom back all the oldies in government must step down let me play that video for you guys real quick you know i usually having a smile on my face in morning but don't not this day i am disgusted i am disgusted by uh uh more government and more cupcake <laughs> the cupcake gets me every time. And more cupcake. Treating our counter like it's a toilet paper. You just wipe your ass and put it in, in and flush it in the toilet. I think we all have established that more government don't caring about us by now. I think it's time uh, we get rid of those ones who are in power because they feel entitled. They don't understand they the meaning of service it's not about them it's about people they will keep taking this money because they feel haha we we fought for freedom therefore these people owe us we must getting rid of everyone who feels entitled starting over but we are it's not going to be handed to us but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, jokes aside, you know, funny accent aside, do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about what Kelly Kumalo is saying in that particular video. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Ray Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.